Hi, this is Info Papa, and I'm going to show you a deep hidden secret that many, many people don't know can be done using the clone stamp tool. Check it out in this Photoshop Elements tutorial. So Photoshop Elements is open and you know a lot of people say Info Puppet why do you always use beautiful women in almost all your videos? Well I'm trying to stop that so uh, let's go ahead and open up the image for uh, what we're working on now. Beautiful beach scene and oh, oh alright I did it again. I don't know what to tell you. But anyways what we're going to do right now is we're going to clone this beach scene uh, over to this other image here uh, of the woman here and uh, we're going to do it with the clone stamp tool all at once. So let's go to the toolbar and select the clone stamp tool. Here it is right over here. And clone stamp tool. I love it. Now I'm going to go to the top of this image and click on the header to make the image active. And right now I'm going to hit the alt and left click at the same time for PC or option and left click for Mac. And I just selected the area that I want to start cloning from. And now I'm going to go to the same about area in the horizon on the new image. And I'm just left clicking and dragging. And I am drawing this, uh, this in the first image onto the second image of the clone stamp tool. Now I just made my brush size larger. And look, if you go over here, you see it's doing the same thing as we're doing over here. It's cloning over the plus sign is what's cloning over. The circle is where it's being cloned. All right, now I'm going to make my brush size smaller again. I selected a 9 and we're going to blow this up to 400% because I really need to get close now uh, to make this look a little bit more seamless. So I've got a very small brush but it looks about the same size because we're at 400%. But this is the way, the easy way uh, to get close and I actually took my time here with this but it looks like I'm going kind of fast because we're looking at uh, time elapsed photography. So we're just going to go ahead and down and uh, finish this up here and get it nice and close. And I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. The plus sign is over on the image side right now, cloning from that image. And that's pretty much it, okay? All right, that looks really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, change this back to 100%. And boom. Oh, excuse me. Boom. And uh, we're going to go over here now. And to finish this off, I always grab the blur tool. Blur tool. Can you see the part? There it is. And what I'm doing is I'm just blurring the edge a little bit to soften the sharpness of the, um, I guess, the transition from the water to her leg. And that softened it up pretty good. And I think that looks pretty decent. You know, I could do a little bit better job, but for time reasons, just kind of give you the concept. This is the after. This is the after shot. Let's take a look at the before. And. Boom, there's the before. Again, there's the after. Much nicer looking beach. I think I just took an image that was already pretty beautiful. We're a beautiful woman and made it even that much better. And you can finish this off You get with the same concept in between the legs and to the left hand side. But there you go. A little bit of a magic secret a lot of people don't know with the clone stamp tool. Cloning directly from one image to another. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching from Info Puppet.